Okay, we have a very special video for you today with a very special guest. You may know him from his YouTube channel. It's Chuckets Crucible. He is going to go inside our multi-million dollar flip in Anthem Country Club in Pine Hollow and absolutely tear it apart. So let's go take a look. All right, guys, as promised, we got our very special guest here today, Chockets. So the reason we wanted to have him come and take a look at this house is because this guy has an incredible amount of experience and knowledge touring and taking a look at multi-million dollar properties here in Las Vegas. So the goal today is to have him take a look at our design, our fit, our finish, and tell us how we stack up. Well, are you sure you want me to do that? I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We've never really been criticized yeah. on our flips, uh -huh. so why? You know, what better than have you do it? I think that's going to be fun. So I can't wait. So where do you guys want to start? Let's start right here. Honestly, okay. let's just spin right around okay. and take a look at this magnificent view, or you call it whatever you want to call it. Right when you walk in. The so house. when I walk in, the first thing I see, everything is completely open. Yep. And that's what consumers want today, right? Everything just open, modern. They like that contemporary. As soon as I walk in, I feel like I want to be here. So we're starting off on the right foot. Yes, we're starting cool. off on the right okay. foot. <laughs> Do you remember what this house looked like when we first toured it a while back? S somewhat I did, but uh, I think we, you guys did a full rehab on here, right? Full remodel. That's right. Very expensive. Yeah. We put about 350000 into this house. Okay. 350000 Yeah. 350. Can I ask you what you guys currently bought it? What would you guys actually buy it for? We bought it for 1425 Yeah. Okay, and what is it going on the market for? 2495 five. Yeah. Woo! That's right. You know what? As soon as I walked in, it felt like it was worth it. So love that. <laughs> let's take a look. So the, the first thing that I see as I walk in is a couple things. I see the kitchen mm -hmm. and this beautiful slide. I want to talk about the slide because I think at that time when we were here, you guys added the concrete or something like that, right? They yeah. extend yeah. the score we footage, did. right? Mm -hmm. So let's go take a look at yeah. it. Yeah. This was outdoor patio okay and where, where did that start i think it started like see, somewhere right kind of see where that jog is in the wall okay. mm -hmm. and it basically came over to this corner yeah yeah so it's we're talking basically like 10 by 15. yeah so it, it actually came out to about 200 ish square feet that's added into the mm. house now and that was a good choice because if it was cut off here as you walked in it really would have felt very small but right. by doing this i think this was a great move on your guys's part and i see this beautiful slide and um, this slide right here is not cheap. No. This is not a cheap slide. No. So kudos to this, yeah. right? Because when it comes to high-end homes, you can tell if they're using generic products or not, mm -hmm. right? But the average consumer is not gonna know that. Sure. But I can tell you that you guys have some beautiful aluminum slides. What are these, uh, 20 feet slides here? So this one's about 22 feet okay. wide. It's 10 feet tall. Should we go ahead and open it up? Oh, yeah, yeah. let's open that baby up. She's nice so this was a smooth. hole in our house for the last six months. This okay. thing just went in, so we're super excited about it too. Look how smooth. Yeah. Look at the transformation now. It's like, as soon as you open this, it's a whole different vibe. Yeah. Literally, you can hear the water. You really bring the outdoors into your home. Exactly. And that's what I really do like about this. But one thing that I do like about this is you have the reverse tray and it's cladded with the LED lights and you really bring out that custom look. So kudos to that, I really do Thank like you. that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we felt like adding this inside the, inside the home mm -hmm. wasn't going to sacrifice so much of the covered patio yeah. because we already have so much space. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't have done that if we completely cannibalized all the outdoor patio yeah. space. So you can still fit a huge lounge set, a huge table right here. And so you really haven't sacrificed that much. And it actually might feel a little bit bigger because now you have a 20 foot opening versus just yeah. a small slider door mm -hmm. here. Yeah, actually this door was right was here. Right here. Yeah. Yes. And that was it. That was your access. Yeah. Well, I love the fact that you, you utilize that door and you moved it on over here. Yeah. And what's great about that, like you said, you have two access points now as well. So mm -hmm. I do love that. But there's just something about this section right here where you have this flagstone where it just really inviting. Like I want to go Pulls outside. Pulls you in, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Yeah. I mean, this is beautiful. Should we start over here or should we go back inside? I say let's knock out the yeah, outside. Let's go back inside. Want, inside, want, inside. I want to hear what you think about the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll go in the kitchen. Okay. So I see that uh, you guys have a beautiful island here. And uh, this is a, what, a three inch face here with yep. the waterfall. Yep. And this is uh, what type of material? Is this granite? This is a quartzite. Quartzite, yes. okay. 
So this is two, we use two slabs, so mm -hmm. two jumbo slabs to create this island. It's 12 feet long, four and a half feet wide. Okay. And they're book match slabs as well, so you can kind of see right here in the middle that mirror image. Which, here's the thing, to do that, it's gonna cost you more money, but let me ask you this, how come you guys didn't do one whole slab? Couldn't fit it on the island. Right. Really? They, you cannot buy a slab that like big? this big. Right. No. Okay. We searched and searched. Because you imagine it's got to go not only on top, but it's also got to flow and waterfall mm -hmm. down the sides, which is another four feet. Almost any slab, even if you buy your biggest jumbo slab at any like stone wholesaler, yeah. they all have to come from another country and they all have to fit inside shipping containers. Which so makes you can sense. only get them so big. Yeah. Okay. Now the other thing that we talked about, and I did ask you, mm -hmm. right? A kitchen this size, the home this size, because it's all about entertaining, right? We didn't do two dishwashers. We didn't do the dog. Uh, why is that? We should have, honestly. Because that was my pet peeve. I was like, yeah. tell me you guys are doing two, <laughs> two right. dishwashers. We should have. Right. Okay. Um, we don't have much of an excuse for it other than it was designed and we let the design ride. Got it. We did put the really high end pull out, pull out microwave though in mm -hmm. the island, yeah. which we think is definitely an upgrade here. Um, but we could have easily fit another dishwasher in, so sorry we missed that. It's all right. Hey. You know. Sorry. <laughs> One thing I really wanted your opinion on yeah. that we thought was kind of, could be odd, but could make it feel large as well. I think the kitchen feels huge because of yes. it. But do you think that this gap from here to this island is too large? Do you think that it's inconvenient mm -hmm. or do you think it makes a lot of sense here? In custom homes that I see, they're never this wide. Right. right. And I, I think this is actually perfect. Okay. Cool. Because this home is all about entertaining. Mm -hmm. You want your guests to flow through here. And I think that was a great idea that you guys did that. Okay. Also, I love the two tone too as well. You got the black, the contrast with the white, and you got the black handles. Mm -hmm. But one of my pet peeves is with these full overlay cabinets, what type of cabinets are these? Let's take a look. Look, dovetails. Dovetails, baby. Soft closing cabinets. Ooh, that's a banger for me. That's a number one. Also, I noticed that you guys added a pot filler. Yep. Give that extra custom look. I do like that. And you got your beautiful range. Now, this is very pricey, okay? And the thing about high-end custom homes, what I've noticed is that sometimes when people build custom homes, they short themselves with the range. So, kudos to this. Thank Great you. job, because this is, this is all about chef cooking right here. Yeah. Because when you have a home like this, right? When you entertain, you're gonna bring in a chef and this is actually perfect for the chef. Absolutely. One thing I wanna point out that's pretty cool that we're excited about that we added last minute. If we hit that light switch right there, we should Ooh. have the under shelf lighting that think? we threw in last I, minute. I love the LED lights and that was a great option. Now also, I love how this is actually flush with this because in, yeah. yes, certain LED lights, you'll have a, a, a pop out but then you have to throw a light rail underneath it and right. you don't really get that custom look. It's even dimmable this too. This is a great, great the Early morning, idea. you don't want that light. Okay, let's dim it down a little bit. Late at night, you want to turn it up. Mm -hmm. You got to dim it. That's going to look uh -oh, really nice. Guys, I see something I'm not too happy with. Okay, let's point it out. What's up with this backsplash here? We got to finish this off, guys. Oh, all right, you're right. What's up with that? There is about one or two <laughs> or three things that we're finishing up in this house. Yes. He caught our little one inch gap right here mm -hmm. that we haven't quite finished yet. But no, we everything you will do it. Everything okay. that needs to be finished is very small like All that right. right now. All right. So what else have we got, guys? Do, do we, we have a little secret for you? Yeah. Do okay, remember when we first designed this house, we talked about a secret pantry? I don't remember, but show me. Okay. But see this wall of cabinets yes. right here? That's your pantry. Really, there's no walk-in pantry in this kitchen, mm -hmm. but is there? We open this up here. Get in there. Whoa! Get in there. Oh my God, this is a... Dude, this Get is a great there. idea. Look at this. <laughs> It's not small either, is no, it? No, it's not. What made you guys come up with this idea? This is brilliant. Thank you. Because thank you. I look at this, that's the first thing I thought. I was like, okay, this has a little bit pantry space, mm -hmm. but literally a walk-in. Yeah. Dude, this is the first for me. That's, that's a big walk-in. Yes. Yeah. It's cool, huh? Especially with the, the cabinets. It, I mean. It looks so it, integrated, doesn't it? it yeah. It's so clean. Yeah. Good job on that, guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. Wow, what else do we have? Okay, so let's move on over to our living space. Okay. Now our living space kind of carries through. If you mm -hmm. you pointed out, we have the black accent and island. Yep. So we kind of picked that up with the black tile. Mm -hmm. We have the natural wood on the wall up there. We brought that over here. So we wanted to kind of make this feel like it was a shared one space. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cohesive. And I believe this is what, 100? 100, 100, 100 inch LED. Yep. LED. Now explain to the audience what the LED is. 
So LED fireplace is actually a great application, especially for here in Vegas or any other desert areas. Mm -hmm. It does put out heat, so it plugs into a simple 110 plug, no difficulty installing it at all. Okay. In the winter months, if you do want to have a little heat, at least for this room, you turn it on, it's got a heating element, pushes out hot air into the room. But other than that, you don't really need it most of the year. That's why it's so good in these areas. And it's just a great little visual aspect. Okay, and we can change the colors on this. Oh, you yeah. can change the colors, you can change the theme of it. It really creates a really nice ambiance. Mm -hmm. I don't sit on my couch at night without my LED fireplace turned on at all times. It's so nice. <laughs> So this is probably gonna be one of the areas where you're gonna spend most of your time, right? I'd say so. So, now, I'm gonna pick this part. Yep. Let me ask you guys this. Do you have a Cat 6 and a Quats behind that TV? Yeah, of course. We got anything you need to hook up, cable, dish, whatever you wanna hook up, it's already behind there. There you go. Not only that, TV comes with the house. Really? Yeah. What size do you think that TV is? I'm gonna it's say, a big wall. I'm gonna say 85 inches. I think it's like 83. I think it's an 86 inch. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go. <laughs> but look at it. it. It's a that's a big TV, so you can see how big the room is. It looks small on this wall, you know. And I do love the fact that you're incorporating that with the sale of this home. Yeah. Because if you buy a home like this, I mean, who wants to go get a TV? I mean, this is part of the design exactly. aspect. It's done. So you, it's exactly. Exactly. You might as well just leave it. So right. I do love that as well. Okay. What else do we have, guys? So, you know. COVID times, a lot of people are starting to work from home. Mm -hmm. They want these nice, more custom offices in their home right now, especially in a luxury home like this. So we built a pretty badass office here, check it. Ooh, I love this. Now this design here tells me that this is a luxury, elegant design. Right. And let me guess, was this from Toll Brothers? design is this where you got this inspiration we saw from? this in a lot of new builds yeah uh, not just toll brothers okay. but they definitely highlight this in mm -hmm. a lot of their homes and something that we've been seeing that's more and more prevalent yeah so we decided to incorporate that into our own design so is this just more for uh, looks or can you actually use this as a chiller so it's really more for display mm -hmm. right now we don't have any refrigeration element installed yeah but it is fully sealed so if you did want to install that the end buyer did want to have this as a chilled room mm -hmm. it's totally possible now, when it comes to glass, right, depending on the size of the glass, so we're gonna see if this is actually a true custom door. As you can see, this is actually a 3-8 uh, door here, so this is actually a real solid door. Uh, with your normal glass, I think it's about of a quarter inch, it's very flexible, mm -hmm. but you can tell that, you know, this is quality, so right. I appreciate that, so. Yeah, and it's an 80 bottle wine cellar, so if you're wondering how many bottles yeah. it holds, it's, it's 80 bottles, which is pretty cool. Mm. And that's just a little part of the office. Yeah. yeah. The, what we love so much is, there. From the office, how cool is that going to be to look at as oh, well? Oh yeah, that's going to be beautiful. Oh, one thing I noticed too is that the lights, so once you get that reflection off the bottles, yeah. I think this thing's going to pop. Yeah. So, great job on that. Thank you. So a couple things we did, we wanted to create a super custom office feel. So of course, we did the custom trim work on the back wall with the four sconces. It's really nice. One thing we added last second mm -hmm. was this buffet over here. These were extra, ex, actually extra cabinets mm -hmm. from our center island because these cabinets were too deep okay. for the center island overhang. So we reutilized them, threw them in here, and now you have a lot more storage in your office and some really nice counter space okay. to put decor on. So I'm gonna pick this one apart. Do we okay. have a floor outlet on the bottom and do we have Cat 6 for all our entertainment uh, system here? He got us. Yeah. We screwed up. We, we screwed up. The only reason why I'm <laughs> saying that from a design aspect, right. when you have a office like this, when you have the table down the center, you don't want to have cords of course running not. off to the side. Right. So, boom, I got you guys on that one. But other than that, it First does strike. look good. Guilty strike strike cards. cards. All right, what else do we have? All right, so we saw pretty much the main living area. Yeah. Everything in the main areas of the house for entertaining. But now let's get into where you're going to enjoy the house if okay. you personally own it. Let's go to the master. So now we're entering the master bedroom. Of course, we had to throw in the custom buffet when you walk in, ship lap it up, throw a couple wall sconces on it. Family photos go here. This is a really nice touch to the entryway. One thing I really liked that we did as well was tiling this entryway. Yeah. You know, a lot of the times you'd see carpet from the doorway. But I feel like the tile running through this makes it feel a lot larger and a lot more grand walking into. And I do like that you added something here versus mm -hmm. just leaving this all blind. We and totally could have. Yeah, and you know what? You're, you're getting more storage and all that stuff here. So this is actually perfect. So I love this great concept. Now, not place. only that, we also took it a step further mm -hmm. and thought, man, if you're in this master and you're waking up in the morning, uh -huh. the kitchen's pretty far. Yeah. So we put you some power right here so you can have a little coffee set up Ooh. inside the master if you so choose. That's perfect. We love that idea. <laughs> 
So it's a pretty good size master. We got a full it's king large. size setup in yeah. here. Beautiful windows to the huge backyard, of course, that we'll mm -hmm. see later on. But we had to run cohesively through the house, another LED fireplace with the custom tile work. And I believe this is a 60 inch fireplace, correct? It's 60 or 63. Okay. All right, I do love this. Uh, it looks like, oh, I'm gonna pick this thing apart a little bit. Uh, it looks like it just needs to be a little bit clean, but that's very easy. But tell me the TV's also included as well. You Absolutely. Know it is. I like and you know that. it's Absolutely. got everything behind it that you need. Perfect. So what size is this room actually? Because this is a very deep room and it's very large and I love all the windows and all the lights that are just coming in. If in I room. had to guess, honestly, it's at least a 300 square foot room. Mm -hmm. Also, one thing I've noticed as I'm walking around, this has got to be at least a six pound pad with an industrial carpet. It is. Because it feels really good. One thing that we always focus on with the luxury flips is putting the extra padding mm -hmm. into the carpet. And we love the short Berber style carpet. Yep. It's a lot more custom than the, uh, than the plush carpet. Got it. Also, I want to go into the primary bathroom because a lot of times, right? We always like the kitchen, but we all also want to see the bathroom because that's where your big ticket items are. You're right. right. I'm going to let you leave. Yeah, all I can't right. wait for you to see this one. All right, so let's take a look at this. Ooh, I can tell you right now, I do love the barn door here on both sides. Now take a look at this. This spa is actually gorgeous. One thing that I remember that when you guys were doing this, we actually had a soul box on this side, but you guys extended this thing out, mm -hmm. right? This is dope. Now for future reference, when you guys build your next home, I would like to see an LED strip in Ooh, here. Ooh, that would be nice. That would be sweet. Ooh, okay. Right? Now I do love the fact that you put the tub inside the shower and this whole wall has been clad, so you really get that spa look. Yep. Guys, you guys hit me on the head on this one. I do love it. Now one thing I want to ask you is because you have all these black fixtures, do we have a soft water? We do have soft yep. water in the house because Perfect. if you don't have that in Vegas, you're gonna get that white calcium buildup. I love it. Yep. Now one thing also I want to ask you with the grout throughout the whole house, mm -hmm. has it been sealed? It hasn't. No. Okay. That's one thing that I would like to see on okay. a high-end custom home. When you build a custom home, you might as well already provide that for that consumer so that way they don't have to waste the time and also the money. <laughs> but explain to me exactly what we did here. So the bathroom. This actually Ooh. was not the shower. Yeah. Okay. The shower was in this bar. I entered it right through here. Wow. There was a tiny little cave of a shower. And this was actually a little bit of vanity space, okay. and wasted yeah. space, and a tub in the corner. Right. The tub was where the tub originally was, yeah. but mm -hmm. it wasn't a freestander. It was no. a fully built in deck style tub. Okay. And there was a vanity on that side right, right. there where those shower valves are. So we relocated the shower, redid the tub and all of the fixtures to actually insert them into the wall. And if you notice a little detail that we did, we actually turned this into a steam shower. It doesn't have a steam unit, mm -hmm. but we included all the upper glass with the vented system. Ooh, so I didn't even notice that. So if you close that. that, it's gonna get nice and warm in there. And I like that where you can actually pivot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Change gorgeous. it up. So that. of course for all the ladies out there, they want a big closet, right? Yeah. So by taking this shower out and relocating okay. it over there, we actually created an oversized hers closet. Okay. Let's check it out. On it. This closet is massive. Wow, I love the fact that you guys actually skin the walls and yeah. actually add some custom shelvings. Because a lot of times what custom home builders will do and what buyers will do is to save costs, they won't add this. The right. fact that you guys already added this to the price is actually perfect. Who's the, uh, the builder on this one? Or the, uh, the design? Yeah, it's, it's, it was the actually brand. the cabinet store. Oh, really? The container store. Oh, interesting. Right. Now, what we do, it's a good point. A lot of builders leave them blank. Yeah. Maybe the thought is that somebody wants to come in and do a custom closet. So yeah. I don't want to assume what they want. Correct. So we actually tried to do this right in the middle, right in a sweet spot where you have enough in here already to just move in and use mm -hmm. it. But also you can reorganize it. You can change the layout of this mm -hmm. to actually customize it a little bit. So we don't want to go too far and design your perfect closet. We want you to have a little bit of that freedom. Which makes sense because you kind of want to be in between the middle because you guys are obviously flipping this for a profit, which makes sense. Yep. Also, I noticed uh, with this company right here, when you make these adjustments on the shelves, you can actually move yep. these up and down. And the mm -hmm. reason why is so that way you don't see those little rivets or those holes and it gives that more custom look. Right. So yeah. great job on this, guys. Thank you. Thank love you. It. Thank you. Yeah, we so love we built out the hers, but what about the him? Also on the opposite side, oh, really? we have a his style closet fully built out as well. Same style, 
cabinet, uh, the, the container store built it out. Of course, it's, it's not as big. Okay, but well, you, you know what? This is all we need. For a guy's this closet, is this is not bad. No, this is actually perfect. I do love this. Nice. All right. One thing I've noticed that you have here is an outlet, which is perfect because a lot of times, a lot of these custom home builders, they will not add an outlet. The reason why you need an outlet in here is because if you decide to customize your closet, now the guys that come in, they can use that uh, light for like LED lights and stuff like that, as far as the outlet, I'm sorry. True, you got power in it. Yep. Exactly, perfect. So I know this home has seven bedrooms and seven bathrooms, but the most important thing for me that really captured my eye was actually the backyard. I really wanna go outside and I wanna see what this is all about because it looks like you have a slide too as well, so I'm very excited. Can we go take a look at that? Definitely can. All right, let's do it. Oh my God, this backyard is amazing. What do we have here? I mean, this thing is huge. Yeah, it's an incredible <laughs> backyard. It's never ending. Yeah. It's honestly all super utilized really well. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when you have homes on a big grade, big yeah. steep in the back, it's pretty much eats up your backyard. Yeah. You don't get to use that. And it's a lot of dead space. A lot but, of dead I mean, space. This is actually all pavered all the way up. Mm -hmm. Multiple spots to sit and hang out, and take in the view. But overall, this yard has everything laid out really nice. From covered patios, to pool, spa, slide, to basketball court, and putting green. Now, I remember the last time I was here, there was a lot of vegetation that was overgrown. And it looks like you guys trimmed a lot of this stuff back. And it really opens everything up now, and I do like that. Because I remember when I was over here, uh, looking into the pool, you couldn't really see the pool. So that was a great job with the landscaping. Yeah, we did a ton of landscaping on this project, cleaned everything up, and we installed over 60 new lights here wow. to make sure that the backyard is well lit at night. You can see all the way up to the back of the hill. So at night, you really want to come out here and just relax and just chill, right? It just oh, entertain, day or night. That's perfect. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh, when are we gonna hold an open house here, guys? Tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we really want to show you, though, something that we added. Fits mm -hmm. Vegas style. The basketball court, we put a brand new sport court in. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys said basketball court? Yeah, basketball, baby. Ooh, you don't get too much of that, especially at this price with a basketball court. Let's go take a look at that. Let's do it. Should have brought the basketball today. I know. Oh, that would be We could have started yeah. playing, yeah. Wow, take a look at this. I love this. And this is an adjustable rim too, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. So I noticed you also have a putting green. Yeah. What made you guys throw that in here? Was that, that originally here? That was it? actually already formatted. The footprint was there. Yeah. Everything was just super old. So we actually just redid it and we included a little chipping area too. Great concept. I do like that. And I do really love this basketball court. Too bad we didn't have a basketball. I know. We could have been shooting it. Cool, right? right? I made it. You know, we had the thought of just painting this, painting mm -hmm. the key and putting the three-point line on, which would have been fine. I've seen that done, but I think adding the sport court actually makes it feel almost brand new. Right. And it's just nice, bright, and vibrant too, so I do love that. And it really sections the, the house off, you know what I mean? You got the full basketball court, and also you have the putting green, so perfect with that. Also, one thing I've noticed that you guys did was actually uh, sprayed the cooling deck too as well. We did, right? yep. Which is a great job because a lot of times the flippers, what they'll do is they'll save money in certain areas, but you guys took it to a whole nother level. And you guys know that I've been touring a lot of right. homes and I do a lot of flip properties too as well. But when you're at this price point, you gotta do things the right way and that's what you guys are doing. That's our goal is when we come in and flip a million dollar property or plus, we wanna make sure top to bottom, end to end, that they feel like we touched this property, that we actually renovated every inch of it. Now, this hill here, I'm ready to tackle this you're, hill. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Let's check out the view at the top. Uh, let's jump to the top. View at the top. This is a lot of land here. You know, it's a lot of grading and a lot of leveling, a lot of retaining mm -hmm. that you have to do. So you just look at it and okay, kind of maybe, maybe this does look old, but there's a lot of money put into this. Well, as we get higher on the elevation, you can definitely see the, the mountains, which oh, is yeah. gorgeous. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> Already? It's a hike. No, it is. But definitely burns your thighs. As you notice, we have all new lighting on all the main trees throughout the hill. So when this is lit up at night, it looks so cool, so beautiful. Wow, look at this. This is amazing. Not bad, huh? Yeah, this is definitely uh, worth the asking price. How long do you think? This Catch your breath. Catch your, your breath. <laughs> Catch your breath. <laughs> Cut. A few minutes later. Okay, now that we're at the top of the hill, 
Look at these views. You got full mountain views, two and a half million. What do you think? You know what? I love the views and I can tell you every other home up here is over $2 million and to have a home like this for the price, I definitely wouldn't want it to be in a location like this, but the view is beautiful. Now it was a hike for me to come up here, but one thing that I bit. definitely would add is probably a nice fire pit, right. and some chairs, right? And that's pretty much it. But overall, you guys hit it on the nail. Thanks, job, man. Guys. Hey, we appreciate you, man. It's really nice to hear that we stack up well against all of those other properties that you tour because you tour some really nice stuff. Speaking of tours, he's actually going to do a in-depth property tour on this, posted on his main channel, link below. So definitely check that out for all the nooks and crannies of this two and a half million dollar house. If you enjoyed today's tour, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions regarding flipping or investing in real estate, drop a comment below. We're always happy to help. And you know what's next. We'll see, see you on the flip side. side.